Hi everyone, I'm Chilla and Jan. In this video, I want to make a little review of the car which I was driving in the States for about three months, and it's Ford Focus 2015. And I'll just tell you what I really like and what I didn't like in this car. Okay, guys, so here we'll start from the design, and uh, I do like the design. I mean, it's not something special, but uh, it's okay and as a woman view of the car and I also absolutely love this color it's like what red deep red cherry color that is beautiful <laughs> it's really really beautiful and uh, design is kind of okay and it's actually quite popular model in Russia uh, Russians do like Ford and um, so uh, I never actually had this, uh, never driven this car before, this uh, model. So that's why I thought uh, I will tell you a little bit my thoughts about it. And uh, so what uh, we have here, let's start from uh, the boot. Uh, as, a, as a traveler, the boot is very important because we do really need a lot of uh, suitcases to fit in. And, uh, this is the size of the boot and I can tell you it's a good size I had two big suitcases and also laptop bag which fit perfectly well in this you can see in this little video and uh, it's also actually have a space here for uh, another towel T another tire <laughs> tile, tile. and this have enough space for another tire <coughs> So it's quite good. Um, so if you have like, well, four people uh, and two big bags, uh, it will uh, fit in this. So you don't need to open the seats, you don't need to put them down to fit in suitcases like in some other cars. I had to uh, use the uh, seat, the back seats. So that one is uh, a quite good size boot, I'd say, really good. Okay, so uh, this is the back of the car. So I started from uh, from the back, and uh, so we have it's actually quite a lot of space behind, and we have two seats, and uh, I'd say they're quite hard, not um, super comfortable, but I mean it's okay, not too bad. I think it's kind of a reasonable size. It's very standard model, and uh, also here in seats we have pockets and nothing here. You can see there is no air conditioning for the back uh, seat, uh, just to have like a little uh, space in here, and um, uh, that's pretty much it uh, f about the uh, the back. Okay, and also um, it's all fabric, you can see. Um, this is actually quite nice fabric, I think, but uh, I prefer leather myself. I do really prefer leather, but uh, I mean, it's okay. So uh, I thought it was alright. So this is the front seats and uh, I'm going to show you all these buttons, which uh, of course I don't know the names of all of them, but this is not important. The important is what I did like and what I didn't like about the car, but this is uh, uh, the front. And uh, so what we have here, we have door and uh, we have some space in here and um, um, well, all these buttons as usual, just like the usual ones for for the windows control and uh, adjustment of the mirrors, and we also have a door block blockings here. Um, on this side, of course, we have as usual wheel and all the buttons in here. And uh, so, from all of these buttons, I never used this side of the wheel. I used this part, not the phone. You can see, you actually, can call emergency from here. I think it's actually automatically should call emergency if something happens. I'm not sure. Luckily, I didn't have to uh, test it. Uh, I used this button as a volume control and changing my music which was uh, quite fancy as before I uh, rented the cars and I didn't have this option. I'll show you later what I mean exactly. And here, cruise control, I use it uh, all the time when I was driving on the highways. It's uh, very useful. Um, here you can see it's just um, a, no a normal screen we have, a um, computer, and uh, so I put... Um, it on and you can see all of the things and it's going to blip now because 
it's not started and I'm starting now. Uh, I can tell you that the car, this is the mileage, 68 miles per gallon. I can tell you it's economical car. We thought it was pretty good. And so uh, I can't complain. I mean, me and my husband decided it's economical. It uh, was really good. So um, that's kind of all from using all of this side. So here you can see uh, that's the screen and you can have, you can see radio, uh, media. That's what I was saying to you. I'm using the media and that's what I was using uh, these buttons for because I have my own music which is on USB stick and I'll show you where it is right now. Um, so we have all here, you can see this uses the port for USB 2 but it also has USB 1 and all other things around here you can see. So I don't need it right now so I'll just go and turn it off and uh, what I'm going to show you all the buttons here just like um, a usual things the volumes and tunes and radio media phone menus all the controls and also you have air conditioning here so that's what you talking about I'm talking about so this is the USB one and it's good for also you have here space you can put your phone in here and charge it which is good you don't need like to go in somewhere and try to find the space for your phone so you have it right here and so this is the uh, automatic car which is also nice I have space here for two glasses you see my coffee it's actually this all this mess with the different sweets all done by my husband and uh, uh, by the way, we have petrol uh, here is 160, 162 something, and uh, we are in February right now, and uh, per gallon. So this is another place where you can hide stuff. Uh, that's you actually can use all of that, like put it in here and be like more nice. But I'm not using it right now, so just put it down a bit. <laughs> stuck to this I think this is going it's probably going to one of those I think so so uh, this is the second USB where I told you I have my USB stick where I um, downloaded my music and that's what I was listening all these days I absolutely love listening music while I'm driving and um, so that's all really and say once again that this is a good car in my opinion i have nothing to say that what i didn't like about this car the only problem i didn't like is that the seats are not leather <laughs> that's all um that's the only one thing i did like uh other than that as a traveler um and renting the car it did exactly everything uh, what i wanted so let's say the first thing i like of course it's nice color uh, second, it's very uh, economical in my opinion, uh, very good uh, on petrol or gas, you say. Um, the third thing I was going to say, actually, it's, it's a very, very quiet car. As inside, when you close all the windows, you can't really hear anything what's happening outside and you can't hear the noises, so it's, it's extremely quiet in my opinion and it's so hard when you're driving. Uh, you can speed up because you can't hear that you are, you're driving so fast because it's so quiet in this car so I had to watch all the time not to uh, uh, speeding uh, very nice I did really like it how quiet this car was and you don't feel like you know like some bumps or dents on, on the roads it's I think it's it's uh, one of the main I uh, think um, on this car it's very very good uh, quiet uh, car. Uh, so the next thing um, I liked about this one is uh, it actually has camera at the back which uh, I'm going to show you now and uh, you see I'm going to put in reverse and uh, here we are we can see what is happening uh, at the back which is it's really good I like this thing because before I never had ever had any cars with this function and it doesn't have a um, self parking but um, just seeing what's happening behind is uh, I thought it was very useful especially for the girls <laughs> because um, 
yeah probably parking is not uh, my best thing I uh, always it always takes me time to park so I have to look everywhere what's happening and with this function with these cameras at the back it was so useful and I was parking much faster and um, reversing was much easier than usual usual yeah so I'd say that was really good feature for me so and um, what's um, what else I think that's all kind of it's it never break uh, uh, while I was driving had no problem with anything engine with wheels or anything else during my driving time so like about, about three three months nearly three months driving and nothing happened and I was driving quite long uh, miles and all was good so if I would have an option or opportunity to rent the sky again I would say definitely I would like to rent the sky again because it was pretty good and had no faults while I was renting it so that was all my view my experience with this uh, model for focus 2015 and uh, I hope you liked it and it was useful for some of you thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe bye everyone